morning. Yes, it is Thursday and you are at Growth Point with George, uh, growing as you are going through life. And we've been speaking about the love of God and today's title, God's Love, A Solid Foundation. Hmm. What is the foundation I build upon? God's love. How do I obtain God's love? By accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of my life. And again, once I accept Him into my life, you know what? My life is now filled with the love of God. I am now introduced to God through His Son, Christ Jesus. I come into the presence of God. Now I have a Holy Spirit who becomes part of my daily life, leading me, guiding me, teaching me, counseling me, not so the one who is there for me when I find myself in sticky situations. Again, you know, so many people, when they find themselves in sticky situations, they kind of run from God instead of running to God. I want you to be there when, when things go wrong in your life, to be quick to run to God. That is why He gave us Holy Spirit to be our counselor, to be our advocate, to be the one who will lead us and guide us and teach us. Now, world science is trying to teach us and trying to convince us that God is not real. This is exactly what world science is trying to do. They're trying to tell us that God is not the source of life. How do we know this? Well, uh, just recently the Webb Space Telescope um, reported back and discovered this. This is what they say. They discovered the end of the universe and the proof of the Big Bang from where everything in life started. <laughs> I don't believe that. I don't believe that they have found the end of the universe. I don't believe in, in that of, of the Webb uh, Space Telescope bringing back all those beautiful pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they might be beautiful, but you see, my belief is God. Again, this is what my God says, that He created all things. You see, my proof of the greatest love for His creation does not come from science, but from God's Word, which is my foundation, my belief system. I believe in that what the Word of God says. The Word of God teaches me that God is the Creator, my Creator. God created all things. It didn't come from a Big Bang. Yes, it might have come from the Big Bang when God spoke and then God said, yes, <laughs> Genesis 1 verse 3, that is my Big Bang Theory. Then God said, when God spoke, let me tell you, everything around begin to explode and, and begin to, began to listen to that of the instructions that was going to come from the mouth of God. You see, that is all the proof that I need to know that there is a creator who created all things, which he, by the way, spoke into existence. He didn't come from, from some little uh, molecule out there exploding. And, and now all of a sudden life came. And, and as we know, life today came from that of a bing bang. No, no, no. It was God opening his mouth and said, and when he said, yes, everything came into existence. I don't need to have a man-made telescope to reveal the greatness of God's creation. You know what I have? I have with me the Word of God, and the Word of God reveals to me just how great God is. The Word of God reveals to me His love for me. You see, people who doubt God's love for them will have a weak faith or no faith at all. Now, Again, my faith and my trust is not placed into science. Can science help? Of course it does. But again, science is not my salvation. Science is not my God. God is my God. And I put my belief in God because God said He came to this earth through a virgin. I believe that. I put all my faith and my trust in that. God said that He created man from the dust of the earth. I believe that. I put all my trust in that. God said, I, I'm preparing a place for you that when you die, you will be with me. I believe that. That is my belief system. I put all my faith and my trust in that the Word of God, of that of what God's Word says. God says He will never leave me nor forsake me. I believe that. God will help me through the day. If you are faced with trials and tribulations, uh, gain in your workplace, note this. Put your faith and trust in God. Begin to ask Holy Spirit to help you. Begin to ask Holy Spirit to reveal to you the way out, to help you through that situation, that problem that you are faced with. Help, ask God to help you. Let Him give you that advice. Seek advice from God. And I believe God will 
open his word to you because his word will never be closed to you. My Bible says that God is a God of love and he created man to fellowship with him. Right now, even where you find yourself this morning, what you are doing, listening to this broadcast, watching this, you know what? You are already having fellowship with God. That is what God wants for you, to fellowship with you.